Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button. Got lots of cool stuff happening here. Today, we're going to be replacing the front shocks on our F550 Super Duty motorhome, the Thor Magnitude SV34. And we found that the, the OEM shocks are a little, they, 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 there's a lot of vibration coming up through those front wheels and it's, it's rough if you're on a long drive. We've decided to make that suspension upgrade just to give, her, give us a better experience. Now, this is not a paid video. We've purchased all of the products ourselves. We paid cash for them. I'm using Bill Stein shocks simply because I really love the ride that those shocks give. I've had it on, had those on two other vehicles uh, and it just really is a nice ride. I purchased them on Amazon. There's a link in the description below if you're interested in exploring that for your f550 super duty motor home yes i am an amazon affiliate the, we do earn a, a few cents for each purchase made it doesn't affect your costs in any way shape or form but it does help support the channel let's get to it so i'm working on driver's side front They say it's possible to come in from the top, but with this, here's the setup I'm, I found it works really well. So the vent tube for the front differential is what this thing is in the way here. That's what that is. And it's, it's just in the way. All right, so now we're on. We have to secure that. And I don't seem to have a wrench that'll fit it because it's kind of tight in there. So I'm gonna break out the locking pliers. down to the bottom. That one looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward. Famous last words. Not a breaker bar. Fortunately, I'm doing this before all of these bolts are rusted and grimy.
There it is. One thing about them shocks, man, you gotta <laughs> when you when you when you cut that strap, you better be ready. I had to try it from a different angle here. Got it. So now I gotta I gotta get this hole lined up. Just gotta tighten it all up. I didn't realize the battery had died while I was working on that tightening up the, the strut on the driver's side. Uh, essentially, you just want to snug the, the top nut. You want to go down until it bottoms out. Uh, and then you want to tighten the bottom nut 65 PSI on the torque wrench. Now that my, my neighbor has stopped mowing, we'll do the passenger side. Oh, that's tough. Need a breaker bar. Need a little, little bit of leverage here. Ah. Well, I said 
said the neighbor was finished mowing. He's just moved on the other side of the fence. How about some good music while I do this same old thing that we saw on the other side? got the motor home up on the jacks which makes it a little easier to get into the wheel well So that is how you change the front shocks on an F550 Super Duty on the Thor Magnitude and Thor Omni motor coach lines. It's not real technical, you know, there's kind of some difficult to access points. Uh, but if you don't, you know, don't get in a hurry, take your time. It's, you know, four bolts. Pretty much is all it is, four bolts. All right, stay tuned. I've got something, I've got the steering damper coming up as well. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you considering, I'd appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you, I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?